Hey everybody, welcome to TFT Tarot for Today, Divine Dabblings with Oberon and me, Banshee, and it's me, Banshee, for my Material Matters segment, your weekly tarot keys to success in business, education, and finance. Sorry, when I'm looking up at the camera, I'm looking up at light, so I hope I'm not too glary. Am I Mr. Producer? Just don't glare at me. <laughs> I try not to. Does that help? Yes, it helps quite a bit. Uh, do, do I look worse for wear? No. Okay. Is it still okay? I think that's good if I'm good. All right. Well, hey, we're going to start with our card for the collective with the wonderful Sacred Creators Oracle. And let's get on with it. We'll talk about some of the economic stuff in the news. Not a lot, but a few interesting things of note. All right. We'll get to that in a minute. First, let's see what we have for the collective. Ooh. Number 11. So that would be like justice hmm. in the tarot. Your past supports your future. I think that's an interesting card today. I'm just going to stick it right there. I think that'll work. Your past supports your future. Let's see what we have here. Here we are. Your life today was created by the thoughts and the actions of your past. And this card reminds you that every experience you've had, every step you've taken, and every intention you've set has become a node of wisdom on the lattice of your life. Wow, that's really <clears throat> beautiful. In, the, in this way, there is no better way to improve tomorrow's trajectory than to work on it today. As you weave the web of your life, take the time to include patience, honesty, diligence, and faith. If you find yourself circling through repeating patterns, remember that today's sticky energy may be something that was woven into the past, and that this lesson is only a temporary one. As you cycle upward, your web will become stronger and more stable, and every lesson learned is one more strand of support that can be counted on at a later date. There is a fairness here, a balance based on merit, loyalty, and steady progress. You're being given a chance to do the right thing and to open your heart to this beautiful law of cause and effect. Go ahead and take advantage of this karmic moment and use your actions to craft your future according to your plan. Are you beginning a cycle of a cycle, waxing, or ending one, waning? How does the next cycle begin? What did you do in the past that has created today's reality? And what can you do today to weave the fabric of your reality with a beautiful pattern of love and success? Maybe you need to tie off old patterns and nurture relationships, projects, or ideas. Wow. You know, there's that's a beautiful card. I mean, let's face it. When you're in a business world, even when you're in school, you know, your life in the past has prepared you for what you are facing now. Are you starting a path of higher education? You know, did you prepare what you experienced in high school and grade school, you know, maybe impacting on how you will progress through, you know, your those lessons that you've learned. Take them with you. And also, for those of us who may have been, you know, on a career path for some time, you know, you may have climbed the ladder in your field. You may have gone from one lower rung job to another higher position. All those steps along the way have prepared you for where you are today. And what you're doing today is preparing you for your future. Great card. Nice card for everybody. And I'm not sure we've had that one before on the show. So that was good as well. 
well. Before I get into the astrology, I just want to say that um, there has been some stuff in the news. One is that it looks like there may be potential interest rate hikes in the future because the job market is still hot and, you know, they've got to cool it down. I never understand this. You would think it's a good thing that the job market's hot and everything should be responding positively accordingly. But there's all this inflation and they're going to have to curb it. Um, we'll see. Hopefully it won't be that hurtful. Another thing that's going on is UPS is threatening to strike. That could affect a lot of things going forward. Uh, and the deadline for, you know, them negotiating a contract in good faith is July 31st. So it looks like a strike is looming as it looks like management has walked away from the table. And, uh, you know, maybe perhaps even the union is not budging much from their position. So we seem to have a stalemate there right now. Also, I know that Janet Yellen has uh, had some words with China about, you know, their approach to certain American businesses, and we'll see where that leads in the future. I have to uh, take a look at that situation more. Now let's take a look at what's uh, happening in the astrological forecast for the week ahead. Uh, of course, our readings for the elemental signs of the zodiac are good for the week of July 9 through 15, the moon will be traveling from Aries on the 9th to Gemini Cancer on July 15th. Mars is entering the sign of Virgo uh, on July 10th. Mercury is entering the sign of Leo the very next day on July 11th. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all she wrote with our readings for the elemental signs of the zodiac. And we're going to start with our air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This reading's for you for the week ahead. All right. One more shuffle for you air signs, just because. Okay, let's see what we have for the air signs. Wow! <laughs> this card came up a lot in our happy hour today, uh, so it's kind of interesting. It's the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is upright. Wow, what an interesting card, uh, Air Signs. It looks as though you are ready for anything you face today or, or this week. Preparation is the key. Being prepared for tasks, being prepared for um, interviews, being prepared to maybe give a presentation, uh, present a proposal. This is a time to make sure you have all your ducks in a row. Focus, focus, focus. But it looks like maybe you are there because how best to prepare for that focus? You're very optimistic. Look at that. It's the star upright. The star is indicating that... Um, you're very optimistic about where, you know, everything. You feel like you are ready. You are ready to tackle whatever is thrown at you uh, with optimism, with hope that everything will be received well and that there will be forward movement and progress. Awesome. So let's see what can happen here. What about people this week? Will there be cooperation or conflict? Yeah. Well, you know, got the magician reversed here. People may just not be as prepared as you are. I would caution on a couple of levels here, you know. Um, first off, beware of people who may be trying to... Uh, trick you into something you know you might be prepared you might be ready to go and you might in good faith be approaching negotiations be approaching you know presenting yourself to others um just make sure they are on the up and up with you 
You know, I think this is the major thing I want to focus you on this week, Air Sign, as far as the magicians are concerned. They may, um, they may have not the, you know, the the, the best of intentions, uh, in you know, and that may not be for all of you Air Signs, but some of you are definitely going to have to pay attention to others, their reactions, what they're offering you, uh, things like that this week, and what they are telling you, and maybe what they are not. Wow, so will there be forward or backward movement or no movement at all? If you keep that in mind, air signs, uh, look at that. You have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is upright, and it is saying you are moving up. You know, are you trying for a promotion? Are you trying to show your leadership skills, your ability to teach and mentor others? Whatever the case may be, you are on a trajectory moving higher. Uh, this is really positive for you. So let's recap it and see what we've got here. You're prepared for anything that comes your way this week. And preparation is the key. Just in case somebody's trying to pull the wool over you, you know, make sure you, uh, you know, you have all the facts at your disposal. It's a lot of optimism. You're feeling confident. You are feeling hopeful about where things are heading in your material world, whether it's in your career, whether it's in your studies, whatever the case may be, this is really, really positive. The only thing is, watch your back with others. You know, not everybody is our friend out there in the business world. There are competitors that want to steal your ideas, your teachings, your good things. Um, there are also people who may be, you know, uh, saying, yeah, we've got this great job for you but then of course as you find out the details later it's not what it cracked up to be so make sure you have everything in writing everything is on the up and up and it looks like you are going moving on up moving on up i love it good luck with that air signs nice reading wow well we've started out strong here air signs have taken the lead for the winner of the week this week Fire signs. What are you going to do about that? <laughs> Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What are we going to do about that? Are we going to make a uh, gold this week? Are we going to make it happen? All right. Let's see what we have for you. You know, despite some of the things that have been going on, I've noticed even with our cards of the day, there's been more of a positive vibe of late. And, you know, there's not been all sorts of positive things happening, what with climate and some of the various things going on. But there are many readings we've been doing where there's just been a lot of positive energy. So I hope that continues here with the rest of our readings today. All right, fire signs. Let's see what we have for you. Mm. Okay. See, I like this card reversed. It can have different meanings, but it is okay. Your focus for the week ahead, it's the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is reversed. And so fire signs, hey, you know, you're kicking all those past disappointments, past setbacks to the curb. You know, you're done. You're done feeling sorry for yourself or, you know, in dismay. You are moving on to new, brighter, and better opportunities that are out there. You realize, yeah, you've had some bumps and burbles along the way, but you've had something left to build off on. And that's what, and it's taking you to a better place. I like that. I like that a lot. So how best can you prepare for that focus? Well... All right, all right, fire signs. You've got the Knight of Pentacles reversed here. So the best way to prepare for that focus is to not slack off. Don't squander the opportunities that could be out there. Don't don't um don't ignore and neglect your progress. Uh, you know, you have to get to work. You have to get to work. You have to focus on going after them, you know, maybe there are opportunities out there, but if you're just going to sit back and think they're going to come to you, no, you've got to come to them, you know, and so you have to focus on it and you have to start doing the work of, of making them happen. 
What about people this week? Will there be cooperation or conflict? You know, I was trying to make this a happy reading for you fire signs, but the universe has other ideas this week. It's the Ten of Cups reversed. You know, and part of it might be you feel like maybe you're lacking this motivation in the Knight of Pentacles here because people this week you don't feel are very receptive or maybe because of what you're leaving behind you know you have a bitter taste in your mouth about your dealings with others right now and um you know you have to deal with that you have to deal with um trusting again and finding your tribe finding your place in the business world finding your place even with your studies of certain things that you have been doing have not been making you happy or making you feel fulfilled or making it feel like it's right for you, you know? So something is wrong and you need to find your place, you know, where you feel comfortable with the right people, the right tribe, the right environment. So will there be forward or backward movement or no movement at all for the fire signs? It's a very watery reading for you guys this week overall. Um, you've got the Queen of Cups up right here at the end of this, at the end of the day. Obviously, I feel like ultimately you're going to do what's right for you. You're going to do what is what you really feel will be making you happy, will be bringing you joy, will be making you feel fulfilled. Uh, this is a very positive ending towards a kind of complicated reading here. Um, and maybe there's a little bit more to it as I try to recap this. So let's start at the beginning here, Fire Signs. It looks as though you have options now. You know, you're ready to kick all the past setbacks and disappointments to the curb and move forward with some new options or maybe explore some that you have, you know, that you've always had on the back burner. Maybe now's the time to bring them forward. And um, it's, but, you know, you got to do the work, you know, you got to prepare the ground for this, uh, you know, like this landscaper dude is doing here. You got to prepare the ground for growth to get this off the ground. Um, others won't be very helpful with that, let's just say. And maybe this is also, I, I don't know why I have a feeling this might stem from past disappointments, you know, where you feel other people have let you down in the business world or in school, um, or maybe it's your chosen path, you know, the thing you felt you had a passion for. Maybe now you realize you need to switch gears a little bit here. And ultimately, I think that's where you are by week's end. You finally find your sweet spot, your happy place, your content place. You're doing what's right for you and what will really fulfill you. <clears throat> So emotionally, spiritually, and all of that. And, you know, as far as goal fulfillment goes, <clears throat> something that makes you feel happy. I wish you luck with that, fire signs. Well, time to move on to our friends, the water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, this reading's for you for the week ahead. Let's see what good things you can bring into your life this week in the material world. And Bly has got the day off from being the guardian of my water. <laughs> If you hear any clicking on the microphone, that's possibly the producer typing. Your focus for the week ahead is the King of Swords reversed. Yeah. Okay, water signs. So why are you having issues um, deciding what to do next or deciding your course this week? Um, it seems as though you're either avoiding or... 
uh, maybe not in a state of mind to make some important decisions or choices you need to make. Maybe even perhaps as far as it goes leadership wise, you know, this is kind of feeling like, you know, you're not focused this week. It's going to be hard for you to uh, be the true leader you are meant to be. Others who are looking for guidance or support for you from you may have some problems with that this week. How best can you prepare for that focus? Well, we've got another knight in this position. It's the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is upright. Best way to prepare for this position is to, you know, find that enthusiasm again. You know, try to find something that motivates you, that gets you back on track, you know. Uh, definitely try to keep yourself moving and pace yourself. I really feel here with the Knight of Wands, um, pacing may be important. Sometimes the Knight wants to move forward. They're not as fast as the Knight of Swords, but they are movers and shakers. And so this might say pacing is important, uh, you know, so that, you know, uh, you you can kind of get into a flow or groove that might clear out some of the mental clutter that's stopping you from, uh, you know, making the moves or decisions that you need to make. So what about people this week? Will there be cooperation or conflict? Well, this is interesting. We got a repeat card again. Um, we got a repeat card from the last reading, I should say, and it's the Queen of Cups uh, reversed this time. And the Queen of Cups reversed in this position is kind of indicating to me that, you know what, people may be looking to you for some nurturing and support. Uh, they may be feeling, you know, you have some issues this week, and I wonder if they're picking up on that, you know, and they really need a little bit more support and um, nurturing than you are able to give. And so, you know, that could cause some problems here as far as getting, you know, productivity done this week, it could be an issue for you, especially if you're a boss or a manager. It's like I said, I feel, I sense a lot of management things going on here, but, but it could also indicate that, you know, people aren't going to be as receptive to whatever it is you're doing, even um, your schoolwork, etc. if you are not, if you are not uh, focused, okay, it will show in your work. So ultimately, will be forward or backward movement or no movement at all for you water signs? Well, you have the High Priestess reversed here. Um, so I'm kind of feeling that, again, this is that fogginess. This is that inability to maybe, you know, pierce the veil here. Pierce to, you know, the knowledge that you need to make the moves or decisions you need to make. So, you know, this week might be a very, you might benefit this week by just maintaining the status quo, just trying to just trying to go with the flow and not try to make any major moves this week because I just feel you're not in the mindset for it. And, you know, maybe that's why the Nine of Wands is here, too. Let's take a look at this again. This was kind of a complicated reading for you, Water Signs. I feel there's a lack of focus. There's a lack of inability. <clears throat> Things are cloudy. You're really uncertain, maybe, about the future, your future direction or goals. and um, Or you're really not taking the role you need to in a leadership position here with others. Um, something is wrong and off this week. And, you know, the Knight of Wands says, well, just kind of keep moving, pace yourself, try to get into a flow so that, you know, maybe things will clear, become more clear as you go. However, others really are looking to you for that support that they're not feeling they're getting from you this week. Um, or they're looking for you to, you know, come up with answers or, you know, just moves that make sense. And it's just not happening because it just seems as though you're not connecting. You're not connecting with wisdom within. You're not connecting with your work that well this week. And so it's almost as if up here and, you know, up here, <laughs> they're on vacation, you know. So I think you just got to ride this one out, water <clears throat> signs, and hope for the best this week. Good luck with that. Whew. Hey, earth signs. 
<laughs> Let's see what we have for you. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This is for you for the week ahead. Okay, Earth Signs, your focus for the week ahead. The Fool. <laughs> the Fool is upright. You know, I like the Fool card. I sure do. Well, at least until I see the other cards, I can safely say that one way or another, you know, you want to take a risk to seek. You want to take a chance. You want to take a gamble. You're itching to try something new, and, you know, you're just going to want to run with it. Uh, you know, you're ready to take that leap of faith and hoping that the universe has your back. And depending on the cards we see here, we'll see about that, won't we, Earth Signs? How best can you prepare for that focus? Ooh, I kind of like this. It's a Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is upright. You know, I think the best way to prepare for this focus is to, is to realize that all the things, all the knowledge, all the material uh, uh, backing or support or things that you've been able to squirrel away for yourself, you know, maybe even the education that you hold on to, it could serve you well in this situation, you know. It seems as though you have what you need, but now, of course, you will got to be willing to use it. And it might also mean that you have to be willing to put it out you know, let go of some financial resources to get something off the ground, especially if this is something involving entrepreneurship. Maybe this is also involving going back to school, and as we all know, that costs money. All right. What about people this week? Will there be cooperation or conflict? It's the world. The world is reversed here. Well... I don't know if you can rely on people so much to get you there, but um, maybe they're still working in your behalf, but it's going to take some time for them to come around, you know, to what you want to do. Maybe they're hesitating a little bit because, especially if this is a workplace thing, you know, you're wanting to start some new project or goal. Let's say you're a manager and you want to get your team working on something new or some new sales campaign, etc., uh, new and innovative, and they're trying to complete other things in order to accommodate that. So you're going to have to either find a way to let them finish or, you know, realize that maybe you have to spirit this yourself until they're able to catch up with you. And ultimately, will there be forward or backward movement or no movement at all for the earth signs? Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups is upright. Well, I think maybe because of what's going on here with other people that you will be exploring your options. You'll be looking what other options you may have av available to you. Maybe others just aren't going to be as helpful as you'd like, but that does not mean that you have to abandon this path that you are on. You can look at other options for support and um, maybe also you're looking at where this uh, risky maneuver that you are taking is going to take you next. I kind of like that ending card. It's 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 very open ended though. You know, it's like saying these are these are your dreams. These are the possibilities. But where they will take you after that, who knows? So let's take a look at this again. Our signs. It looks as though you are on a mission. You are on a mission to just. Take a chance on something. Take a gamble. You feel conditions are right because you have everything that you need. Maybe it's going to be a little bit hard for you to let go of some resources, financial things, or whatever in order to do this. 
But, you know, once you do, I think it will turn out for you. Others, however, they're trying to get some other things finished and accomplished and may not be all in on this crazy, innovative idea that you want to do. And ultimately, though, where this takes you is that you are surveying your options, either to get more help or support or just looking at what this idea, where this, where this risk that you're going to take is going to take you now. Next, vision the possibilities, and good luck with that. Well, not bad for the earth signs, but I would say definitely, clearly, the air signs are the winners of this week that is ahead of us. So good luck to everybody, and I hope everybody has a great week. I want to remind everybody of our shows, and oh my goodness, it is just a crazy busy week this week, because um, tonight, the Sunday night, we are going to be releasing our Where Does It Hurt? <laughs> uh, every fourth quarter moon, we release this video. We will be live in the chat. Uh, so uh, you can join us there. Or you can watch the video later. And we will try to help you turn that frown upside down. Make things right in your life that might be going wrong at this time. All right, and then on Monday, of course, is our weird week. We'll be passing that video along at 9 uh, a.m. Eastern Standard Time where we talk about our crazy world and how to make sense of it all. Um, so, and then, of course, there's Mr. O's shows. His Goth Tarot will be on Wednesday at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can check in with that shadow. Got to keep up with what's, your go what's going on there. And Fridays at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is his emotional exchanges. We want to know what's going on with our relationships and our interpersonal social side in our life. And that's where you can do it. And on Saturday, come on and get happy at our happy hour show, which appears at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we will make you, you come in sad, you come in happy. We'll make you even happier. So do join us 10 a.m. every Saturday morning. And then, of course, there's our live shows where you can ask any question you want. Sundays from 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Thursdays from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Whew. I think that's enough. <laughs> hey, everybody. Take care. Have a great week ahead. And, you know, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Yeah.